Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome to New Life SMP, a brand new modded Minecraft SMP where each member has six lives. Once you're out of lives, you're kicked out of the series. However, each of our lives will feature a random origin with custom powers to help us out. And my favorite part, we have the create mod. Leave a like if you're excited and please subscribe if you're new. All right, I've just logged in. What am I? I see a lightning bolt. Let's see, Roadrunner fastest origin out there oh gotta go fast oh i gotta go fast wait am i short don't tell me i'm short oh i do gotta go fast oh i gotta go really fast oh, am i short i'm short i'm slightly short oh no right we've got a waystone for our base we've got a lunch pack with some bread and carrots and some cooked roadrunner and a furniture guide and it is getting to be nighttime let's see if we can find a village but first i'd like your wool thank you oh i'm glad i didn't go gotta go fast off the ledge there <laughs> Oh no. Right, there's two wool and wool number three. I really want to sleep through this night. Chopping down or punching down our first tree. Man, I haven't started a new world in so long. I am way too excited for this. Hook planks and crafty table. We can just make a sleeping bag. Yes. Ah, daytime. I got a rock. Oh no, zombie, zombie, zombie. I see a village though. Let's get over there. No coyotes are going to be catching me. I did read that I couldn't swim, but I can go so fast I can sprint across the water. What happens if I just get in the water? Oh, I just, I literally can't swim. Okay, yeah, I just sink. Nice. Here we have the village that hopefully has not been looted yet, and we can get a few decent things. What do we got? Nothing. 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 <gasps> Amethyst shards. I'll take those. What about in here? Sugar cane? That's a good find. That's a good find. We'll take that. Cabbage seeds. Nice. Tomato seeds. Can I take the frying pan? It's a weapon. I can attack people with a skillet. Better be watching out for this road runner with a bam. And I'm going to need some more food. So we're just going to take all the little hay bales here. The amount that I want to take those barrels. Oh, I want to take them. Right, before I get too carried away here, let's chop down another tree. Oh, I love modded. All the leaves are gone. But with this, we can get our first set of starter tools. By that, I mean a pickaxe, which we can use to get a little bit of cobblestone. Upgrade to a cobblestone pickaxe, and we'll grab an axe plus a shovel. I am taking all of these lattices because they're beautiful. And what do we have back in here? <gasps> what is that? I want all of this. I want all the decor things. I just got an enchanting basin. What does that do? Oh, it was your job. I'm sorry. Look at that pot. I want this one. What is this? A hanging pot. <gasps> Welcome to Flip Plays Modded Minecraft and looks at every single item ever and just goes, <gasps> that's that's the series. That's the that's the whole bit, apparently. I'm gonna take the spore blossom. What is this? Wait, are they empty plates? I got a cod roll. I got sushi. Got another waystone over here. And a little copper golem place. Ah, look at him. A gold hoe. Why is that up here? <gasps> Pumpkin and melon seeds. Wait, that's big. Well, running around, I was able to find a ton of blocks of coal, got terrified, found more blocks of coal, and a full set of chainmail armor with a little experience to go on top. Oh my gosh, it's a moo bloom. And a tulip bloom? Moo, moo lip? A moo lip. A tumu. Tumu lip? I don't know. And now I just smelted a bunch of iron I found down. So let's use this crafting table over here to get our first iron pickaxe goodbye stone pickaxe and honestly you know what they're both gonna just stay here they're gonna stay there and we'll come back and find them never Ooh, i don't want to go that way my inventory is very full but i'm also gonna take this yep we're just gonna take that but i think it's about time that we find a place to call home and see if we can't get a little storage hole in the ground set up to store all of our goodies my goal for this series is to build a really cool create inspired base so we need to find a place that's gonna allow us to make that happen and there's another village on top of this hill Let's see what we can find over here. I'm so fast. I found a few empty chests in here, so I think somebody has already raided this, but we can at least get the waystone. And what are you? An oceanographer. Huh, cool. That's a block of iron. I like that. Why am I scared to be in here? I'm holding my skillet. Oh, I'm so glad I came up here. Look at all this coal. And an iron sword. Found some diving boots. That's pretty great for somebody who can't go in the water, but we're just gonna ignore that. Iron sword, worse than the skillet. Was this also diving gear? Wait. No, that's gold. That's that's gold. I don't want that. Time to leave society behind as we zoom off into the distance because uh we gotta go fast. And I'm tired now. Okay, no more go fast. I'm gonna eat some apples. Also, I realize these are divine boots, not diving boots. I can read sometimes. Even though I can't cross the water, I would really love to find an island to live on just in 
to fully transform that into a create base mostly so that I'm limited and uh don't overrun people's bases like I do every other season or series we do it's fine but this way if somebody does come near me I can at least be like haha I claim this first you willingly accepted the chaos you know what I think I found it I think I've found our new home we can transform this into an island itself and just live out here on the peninsula climbing up the trees here and look at all these different we got pine trees over there we've got a cool little oak forest and stony beach over there what is that I love that we've got our cool colorful fall leaves in here we've got a little grassy bomb over there for some farmland it's perfect finally in our new home I decided to spend some time clearing the area and getting a few materials together to help me set up a simple starter base protected against the mobs as I only have six lives in the series I need to make sure I can survive for as long as possible on each life so I'm playing this like I play hardcore Minecraft just as a superhero and then I remember this is modded and we can chop trees by breaking the bottom log first I love it distraction aside it has started raining and I think that means it's time to go mining but first every time before I go mining I need to get myself a shield slap that in the offhand right here and uh <laughs> I feel very well equipped here I got a skillet and I got a shield <laughs> but I don't have torches a little over a stack here should do and I got a decent amount of food on me because I still have this backpack full of a good amount of stuff so we can get on out of here but there is a little cave in here that I should probably you know it goes nowhere does it dig into anything it did not but I did just find this cave that has andesite yes we desperately need andesite we have the create mod on this series and I want to use it a ton and one of the core elements to getting started is andesite I'm not sure how much I need but 41 should work for now just in time for the spookies let's see if we can sleep I definitely want to bring some spruce wood back with me so we're going to chop down a few of these trees and it looks like this auto replants the saplings too which is amazing what is this over here zinc oh that's what we need for create yes 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 I don't know if six is enough but it's a start and you're beautiful what are you limestone wow I found a good sized cave this time so hopefully we can get something good out of here it's not a skeleton hey skillet now comes the time where I just need to explore and risk everything in the caves and more zinc yay like the start of every Minecraft world there's a lot of time that needs to be spent underground before things can really move forward so I ran around gathering every ore block I could find to bring home and figure out what the heck I'm gonna be doing with them this has been a huge journey to finally find some iron down here but for some reason this entire cave is just full of it I did learn the hard way that you can't mine zinc with a stone pickaxe so we're just gonna use the rest of this guy get the iron and there's some zinc to grab on the way back there goes the pickaxe there's some iron for a new iron pickaxe and some zinc hi hi I have one bone I have one bone will you be my friend I get it I only have one fine I'll be back now before I get too into the gears let's get some animals back here and we can just create a little fenced in section for some cows this is all very temporary so it's just gonna go over here and a wheat has grown and we got a few more to plant down let's go find some cows is that an otter <gasps> it's adorable hi buddy oh he's so cute all right everybody come on in yep there we go don't fight yep there we go everybody can be inside and now you all just hang in there I need to go rescue another sheep before the wolves in the forest kill them all oh hi buddy once I get some more wheat we can start breeding them up but that's a really good start so far I can't actually breed the first sheepies excellent I want to start automating a few things to help get resources more quickly which means it's create time so let's get a few iron nuggets right here and we can get ourselves some andesite alloy which we can use to make some shafts over here and a large cogwheel a few more oak slabs for ourselves we can surround that around our cogwheel and we get ourselves a water wheel look at it look at it it's great now for my starter house today or at least the starter workshop we're going to be making I want to get a little river that's going to run down here for our water mill to connect to you know what I've got a fun idea for something and it's going to require a few more spruce logs right I'm super fast Ow. right I'm desperately going to be needing some food here soon uh <laughs> I almost starved to death it's fine but now before we automate anything I need to do a little terraforming I'm thinking we start with a small creek that's gonna pop out from like right in here and it's just gonna work its way down until we get into the water something like this should work great here and then if we get a few water sources out here we can start the creek coming down from this point 
as I'm extremely happy to be using create but I want to make sure everything still looks aesthetically pleasing otherwise it's not really a foot build so we got to work on that but that right there brings us all the way down into the river network which is going to be perfect then from here we're actually going to have a second bit of water that's going to be coming out this way carried along by a few of our trap doors that will be spilling over our water wheel right here and I'm going to need a lot of sprucey trap doors This right here should hopefully work out and then we could just have the water coming right back in. So let's get rid of our little few pieces of dirt up here. And I think I can just draw off of the same water. No, it's going to go down there. We can give it a little bit of an extra nudge. But now we have a water wheel that's turning. Look at that. Wait, that's so cool. Can I get rid of these and it still goes? Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Now, this isn't the fastest water wheel we can get, but it's going to do the trick for now. Before I even start to think about a house, I need a small little workshop that's going to help me get things moving. Just like this right here is moving. We can also work to speed this up by adding a little gear right there. And then this one actually gets going fast. No, no, it doesn't because they're the same. Looks like it's going faster. I'm learning as we go here. Moving forward in Create, we're going to need a lot of essential items, which actually is going to help out here with some of our andesite ally being able to be able to create these which i can actually use to start prettying up the build as this will just make the little shaft thingy disappear and i think i can actually get power out of both sides so we can have that ready for the future at this point i just went heads down trying to understand the mod and placing in a few different elements i could find along the way to get the basics of the machine moving forward as much as i could oh i can't get the kelp oh no it all went up i need to get out i need to get out oh no no, I thought I'd have so much more time. Okay, I have to get that kelp. As long as I'm running, I can be on the water. Make it, make it, make it. No. <laughs> Picking all the kelp down, we got a bunch of dried kelp, which then we can use to create ourselves some mechanical belts, and we can use that to automate things later. But I don't have any materials to really automate things right now, so we need to focus on something else, which is food production. Not grass, food. For this one, I'm going to need a millstone. Are you milling? No, you're not milling. You know what? Before we get into that, there might actually be something that I can automate for now. I'm going to be needing a lot more shafts, and I think I just found something out. If I use a mechanical saw right over here, and then I put some of these guys, I can turn these into mechanical belts that are going to move along. Then at both ends of them, no. Learning how to place things in this mod is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Now we have the funnel set up. So if I put andesite online in this one, and we figure out a way to power this thing, which I need a gearbox to turn the corner, we can bring the shaft all the way out this way and then they need to get it to there maybe this will work ah there goes this ow there goes the saw ow there goes both of the belts how do we reverse that okay now if i put andesite allies in here they should get cut up where are they going that way it's you know what that's a future foot problem <laughs> that I think present foot was actually able to find out what happens when we put an iron ingot through here it gets cut and turned into an iron okay so it doesn't get cut but if I put an andesite alloy then it gets cut and goes into the chest <gasps> I love this all right before I can get much further into the create mod shenanigans over there and get towards the thing that I really want today which is automatic farming I need to find gold to be able to make a wrench so it's time for a little bit of an adventure and this time I'm gonna be smart and bring a boat as when I was risking my life to be able to get a little bit of kelp earlier I did see a pirate ship and if there's anything I know pirate ships and gold go hand in hand or hand in hook I don't know now raiding a pirate ship when you can't swim might not be the best idea but lo and behold there it is oh it's pillagers oh it's pillagers and that is a special arrow who do who do who do who do okay okay so far so good i'm in i don't want to be over there though that's a vindicator <laughs> and we're just gonna block that i'm in the pirate ship right the current best loot off the pirate ship so far has been some emeralds let's just knock them out from their toes we slowly inch our way forwards towards the spawner. I'm not leaving a Vindicator spawner up here. That just seems like a dumb idea. Okay, we're in. What do we have? TNT. You know, that also makes sense for pirates. How dumb of an idea is it to go up here? I can get in the chest. Ha ha, look at all that iron. Oh wait, I have a backpack for lunch. I can put all of the food. No, none of the fish. Of course. Of course, none of the stuff I want to go in there goes in there. I'll take the books though. If there's a chest in the back. There might be, ooh, there might be one on the front. More iron. Oh, that's amazing. Feather falling four iron boots. Yes, please. I see a barrel up here and we got more TNT and more gunpowder. Is there one on this side? Yes. 
These are really, really bad pirates, and I've never even heard of them before, so we're just gonna keep on moving on because they had no gold on a pirate ship. I found four structures here, one being another portal, an underwater pillager outpost, and whatever the heck this thing is. It does have a place that I can just stand up here. Actually, we could just boat in and see what the loot find the column temple i feel like that's a scary thing to <gasps> oh, i will take an enchanted golden apple anytime oh we're gonna get rid of this before i need the enchanted golden apple <laughs> i'm hearing drown noises and i don't want to be stuck down there and drown myself speaking of which underwater village where can a little roadrunner find some gold all right where are those wily wolves i want to see if we can get a pet now because i need a doggo friend in this world oh there's the white one we have a buddy now yay there's number two okay we got him we got him barely and the one that i really want please no one day you will be my friend all right guys welcome to the create land Woo! oh you're Oh, get off there. No, you don't. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to be on there. Since the pirate ship and everything else didn't turn out too well, let's see if we can't breed up these guys a few more times and keep filling out the field in here. Now let's breed up the cows because I do need a little leather for this next step where we can craft a few pieces of cloth. And now I need four pieces of leather. And I don't think I could get that here without killing all my cows. So we'll have to find it along the way. First, to get off the island and pick some flowers. Finally located something that can drop leather and it's horses. I'm sorry, guys. Still too shy. Three and four. Which means now I can finally craft myself a backpack. Apparently I need string to make it happen. Why can't I just put things in this bag? Right, okay, I just need to go back home for now and then we'll see if we can get something else over there. Wait, do I have fall damage immunity? No. <laughs> no, I don't, not for that far. <laughs> that was the dumbest idea I think I've ever had. String, we got it. I think that's all I need. Right. Finally, now I think we can make a backpack. All that for that much inventory. Uh, you know, at least, at least we have it. At least we have it. Oh, there's a spawner in there. Well, I guess I can see that. Bring the spawner, bring the spawner, please. Thank you. What's in the chest? Ooh, more iron. Okay, perfect. Trying to stay as safe as possible here, and I'm just looting everything from underneath, and we've got a lot of stuff in this one. This one's a lot better. Gold, 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 gold. That's all we need. And a full set of iron armor. Anything in the dispensers? No, I'll come back for those if I need them. Yes, there's room at the front of the boat too. That's all food. We've got everything. Let's get the heck out of here. I've decided to relocate everything right over here from over there just so it's closer to all the machines. But now I need to take the three gold ingots that I do have and have them all pressed down into sheets. Now with these, we can craft ourselves a wrench. Pretty cool, huh? The reason why the wrench is interesting is that we can make it go this way. And now that's rotating up there. Working towards the most important thing we can get out of crate. If we put this cog wheel right here, we can put our millstone right there and it broke everything. I really wanted a cool little aesthetic water wheel and it's just not gonna happen. We're gonna need a, what, another water wheel right here. If I get rid of those, that should extend it out and hopefully we don't have enough yet right for now i don't need the saw so that should get everything going perfect now for the fun part i just need to keep dropping wheat inside of here and it's gonna get milled down and turn itself into wheat flour the wheat flour we could take in here and combine it with buckets of water to create dough with a bucket for each now you might be like let's cook it and make bread no obviously next i need a fern as if we throw the fern inside of here we get green dye turning a piece of bone meal into white dye we can combine that together and get lime dye and that gives us slime balls. Now we take the two slime balls we have here, iron nugget right there, and an iron sheet up here. We get super glue, which is where the really fun things start happening. Throwing a bunch of iron ingots on here to create a bunch more iron sheets for ourselves. We'll need to speed that up soon, but for now we've got some work to do. Now here's gonna come the really fun part where we can finally start to automate everything in the world. And we'll figure out how to make this thing look a little bit better in a minute, but for now we're just gonna worry about automating everything. So let's pick up the water in here. And if I place that right back down here, we place the water wheel in the middle. You can see that's already turning, turning. It's moving. Right, if we come along here with four mechanical harvesters, we can place a chest on top like this and use our super glue that we just got glue that together we can glue you over here and then we can glue that all in right there and does that need to glue into you nope 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 we're going the wrong way boys we're going <laughs> we're going the wrong no no stop, stop and now this we have an auto wheat farm now anytime i stop that we it's gathering everything amazing it's just not the best 
right now at, you know, actually keeping all the soil tilled and wet. It's fine. Can I waterlog that? I can. Oh, you can waterlog the shafts. With a little additional upgrade here, this should actually work to automatically unload things that the farm gets. Yes, it's connected. They're doing the little kissy face and it all is dropped off there. This is now fully automated. I don't even need to stop the machine. <laughs> Let's try and set this up for some oak logs as well. I've already got a mechanical saw that we're using over there, but I'm thinking right now in terms of getting a starter house, logs are more important. Grabbing another water mill, we can basically set up the same thing. So if we throw our water down here, we can throw the wheel in again. And then we've got another mechanical bearing we can just throw on top. Actually, I want to move that up one. But before we can get to anything else, I have run out of andesite casings. If I throw a chest in the ground right here, we can throw the chute on top and then our portable store thingy right there this should start spinning and chopping things i think yep it chops things and it also unloads and then out here we can just start placing in a bunch of oak saplings and we'll see what actually gets harvested i have so many extra it doesn't it really even matter i really do want to see it work though so let's give a little bit of encouragement it chops the tree it unloads and we got oak logs <gasps> Yes. So I realized, unfortunately, this thing won't work to replant the saplings. I'm going to have to do that manually currently, but chop it down, chop it down. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yay. Oh, another one. We've got almost a stack of logs out of here so far. But in order to get that to be fully automatic, I need brass, which I can't get until after I reach the nether. So it's time to do a little bit more mining. I've got a lot of backup pickaxes in here and torches, and we got a little bit of food on us. And I found a really large cave entrance over here while I was exploring earlier that I want to dive into. To move forward, I'm going to need to find some diamonds so that I can start getting obsidian to be able to even get in. Dude, don't walk into the lava. But I need obsidian to make a portal. You know how it goes. Oh, wait, look at all this zinc. Wow, oh, wow. This is a massive cave opening up down here. I'm a little terrified. No, 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 no. Ha -ha! So brave. What is this? Is that a... <gasps> That's a spawner. And I see gold ore. Okay, I need that water bucket in case I get knocked off of there. And then we can go tackle the spawner. I think that's all of them. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Okay, gonna take my little cheeky bucket of water. I think we're okay right now. I think, I think, ooh, there's something over there. It looks like a mine shaft. Before I skip along all these and regret that I didn't grab them, uh, let's get all of the iron that I found off the wall here. Okay, I have no idea what's in that spawner, but for some reason it's giving skeleton vibes of it's on a perch and it's gonna kill me. So let's be really careful about getting over there. Oh, it's zombies. Oh, even better, easy and gold. Now we can just carry on with mining. Oh, that's a creeper. No. Oh, no, 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 I'm scared, I hate it. That went through the shield. This is incredibly dangerous, but I just need to light this place up. Oh, this cave is terrifying. I think we've got most of it lit up now, though. I'm really wishing I had Fortune 3 just about now because I've been mining out this cavern like crazy. Look how many materials we have. Fortune 3 stonks, they cry. I did find this over here. <laughs> I'm not going there yet. There's still so much more in this cave that I can mine out before we need to risk our life and go down there because there's also a dungeon I saw. Could mean lots of diamonds, but I am scared. This whole not being able to swim thing. Whoa, what is that? Is that a creeper? Uh, you just the little guy. Oh, he's Angie's. No, 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 no. Okay, best, best result we could have had probably. I think it's time to go down in here and see what the heck this mine is. It looks pretty safe since it's all leaf blocks and rice <gasps> i found rice all the vines make this so much more terrifying oh we got two chests here diamonds yes and another enchanted gold apple and cabbage i think i actually want to take these rails weirdly enough because i know there's a really simple mining machine we can build with create and we just need a few i'm already down here and now i have two diamonds i can't leave without the third diamond to make the pickaxe and then we can get into the nether that is the whole purpose we came down here and i'm so close and now we're down into the deep state levels which means diamonds are ah that's zinc what do we have down oh whoops. no that's zinc oh i keep thinking it's diamonds uh oh my god i love it <laughs> ah there we go finally diamond i don't know why that scared me but it did just one you know what? that's all i need that is all i need let's get the heck out of here i just got back home and before i even put anything away look at that how many oak logs we got let's 
to take all these oak saplings and plant them back in. It can be semi-automatic for now. And how's the food supply coming? It's getting there. But now, most importantly, out of all this, we have a diamond pickaxe. After touring around Scott's death trap, we went to Gems Base, got her waist down, and I saw some cool create stuff she had set up, which gave me the idea to tweak a few things here, as I don't think this is the most efficient use of these water wheels. So I actually want to return this setup here to just two water wheels like this. I know it's going to overstress things for now, but I actually want to split things off into their own little mini systems until we have a really good power source. Yeah, we're definitely overstressed right now, but I think what I can do is just take this entire back section that I had built up recently, and in the same way we're setting up those little water wheels over around our farmland, we can do that right down in here. And let's see this that that'll work and that's got all those powered perfect might be a little slower than it was before but at least we'll know what's breaking now next up here i need to strip all these logs down to turn them into even more of our andesite casings as from here i want to craft a lot of mechanical drills taking a quick moment to shear up all of our sheepies we can create a ton of white sails over here that you can see right here can turn into a windmill i've decided i want to divide up my island into different districts so i think for the first time we're going to be building something slightly away from the start starter mess and over here in the spruce forest that we have I think be the first place that we can set up our mining expedition if I bring myself up here with a windmill bearing uh that's going the wrong way I can do something I've been looking forward to so much We can build a windmill. Not the most decorative of things, but it should look really cool. Now I need to glue everything in here together. And I think this will work. <gasps> it does. It does. It moves. Why would you rain to ruin my day? At least I can look at my little windmill. Look at it. Now from here, we need the gearbox, which is going to allow us to turn the shafts and bring them directly down. A few more boxes in over here. And I think it's going to work. I did another gearbox. And then we have a gear shift over here, which we're going to build into. Nope. Those are upside down. A machine right here. If I attach a rope pulley like this, and a chest I think this will work so if we try and start that <gasps> they're digging they're digging and then if I flip that it'll come up and you can see here it picked up all that dirt <gasps> this is amazing dig for me dig for me but this will go all the way down to bedrock and just mine everything I'm gonna get another double chest I I don't want to lose anything have fun buddy have fun dig away put some torches down here as a warning this will stop people from falling into the death pit yeah well that machine's digging away and getting us a lot of free materials let's take some of our wheat over here and breed up the animals one more time I'm just gonna drop the extras back in here but that herd is slowly growing and next up I need to go get some obsidian so that we can jump into the nether it'll be fine while I was mining earlier I did find this lava pool this should be more than enough obsidian for me so we could just cover all of that right there I want to save a bucket just in case I need it for something and now for the fun task of breaking obsidian with an unenchanted pickaxe Woo. There we go. 21 should be more than enough for now. Because I don't really fancy moving this thing again, I'm just going to bury it in the side of the mountain up here somewhere kind of central on the island. Nether portal. I might want to make a little bit more food for this one. Right. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, we got a little flat ledge here. That's good. What is that? I don't know. I'm scared. I do need netherrack and I do need soul sand. So that's good. The netherrack we can use to make an empty blaze burner right here. Why is there a zombie piglin spawner? <gasps> I could build a gold farm out of that. Wait, I'm going to leave that there. I guess I just need to start exploring and digging around. And where's looking too open right now? Ooh, I'll take some quartz. Finally dug into something and we got a few magma slimes over here that have a lot of health. I should have brought gold. Oh, I should have brought gold. I kind of forgot piglins are a thing. I am definitely going to get lost in here, but I really want to find a blaze. After two hours of exploring around the nether, I wasn't able to find a single useful structure. So I came home to unload everything. We're going to be trying again, but this time I want to take two more empty blaze burners so that we can get three of them because i don't want to go back after we get this we're gonna actually prepare for a bit of a larger adventure this time so if we get our four blocks of gold i should be able to craft a large gold backpack here and then i think if i just put you and you in there yes we've got everything also i made another waystone so if i do find a fortress i can put it there guess that means it's back into the nether where i've tried going that way i've tried going that way so i think this time i want to just like inch along the edge here and see how far we can get oh my gosh ah that's a blaze this must be the nether fortress okay blaze burners ready if i can get the wither skeleton to chase me out of here and he's gone okay and now i just need to get the empty blaze burner i need to run up here 
Yeah, we got him. Yes, 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 yes. I think this is a blaze spawner right over here, so I might be able to get the last two. And this fortress looks amazing. Well, can I take these? <gasps> what are they? Geysers. Ooh, that's going to be so fun. I see another blaze. I go quick. I go quick. And we got him. Nice. And they do stick. That's really important to know. <gasps> Chest, gold, and saddle, and obsidian. I'll take that. There's another blaze right below me. Aha. That is a terrifying fortress looking thing. Uh, let's go find a safe place that we can put the waystone down and go explore that a little bit further. I just saw something massive in the middle of a lava lake over here, so I really want to check it down. I just need to dig down a few blocks to reach it. Look at that. Whoa, it's still far down there. Okay, let's see how much closer I can get. This seems like a pretty good spot to set up the waystone, just in case. We're kind of in between the two big structures, so if there's something we can grab consistently at both of them, that's pretty good to me. There we go. Nether fortress. Waystone is ready. And I'm in. Whatever the city thing is, I don't see any mobs. Oh, I see mobs. Oh, no, they're zombie piglets. Okay, we're safe. Wait, that's a whole enchanting setup. Look at all the bookshelves. Is there lapis? I could use that right now, actually. I guess I'm just going to take this enchanter and all of the books home with me, and we can rebuild it back at the house. Well, starter base. It's not really a house yet. Oh, there's another one. I can sell this to somebody. There's a third. How are there three out here? Hello, buddy. Do you want to come home with me? Yeah, you do. It's a drawer. We could decorate with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think all the mobs are starting to spawn out here. No, no. I need to get out of here. No, I can hit anything. Okay, so giant lava wall, and there's a building behind it. I feel like I need to go back and get to this. So what are these? I must know. Nether brick walls. All right, I'm going to use those in the future. This is just like a full-on base you could live in if you ever wanted to. Just go to the nether and you're like fully set up here if you find this thing. A forge. What do you do? I don't know. It's a nether forge and there's another statue. I think I'm going to use these white railings because they look really cool on the front of a house. So uh, we're just going to grab them while we're out here. Right. I think that's about everything we can get out of this place. And it's been a ton of stuff. <laughs> I got four enchanters and two stacks, three stacks of books before we jump on out of the nether i feel like with the loot in these chests that big boy over there has to have some really good loot Ooh, more gold and it looks like our first structures that we can get into are right over here skull wait, wait I got a wither skull i thought that was a wither spawner no it's just wither skeletons hanging out next place wither i'm not going over there that looks terrifying. Okay, so the lava's coming down from the top. I'm assuming I can just kind of jump inside. I know. <laughs> I thought that was a mob for a second. It's just a giant statue of wither. There's barrels in here, though. And how's there gold in there? It's just... Oh, there's item frames. They're invisible. Wow. Diamond. Another diamond. And a ton of iron. Right, now it's time for the roof where it looks like there's no skeletons. Whoa. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no. No, no. I ate the potato. The hearts are full. Uh, I guess I'm a hare now. <laughs> I'm a rabbit. Jump seems normal, but this big jump. But if I eat carrots, I can jump really high if I'm crouching. Okay, I like this. This works. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I need experience to be able to go get my body. How can I get a level? I just, let's smelt some things. Right, I've got some backup armor in here that we're going to have to wear. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh i hate this yeah feather falling four and we're gonna bring this just in case and the skillet's coming with us ah uh, let's try this thing out right i'm in the nether fortress and i am missing that speed right about now my jump stat is gonna be so good we're going true bunny mode we're hopping everywhere i think i can get by him Ooh. i'm running i should have brought blocks okay we're up on this floor and i think my grave is over in this corner yes all right we got everything back. Let's get the heck out of here. I got all my stuff back and uh, I'm very ready to leave at this point in time. Finally back home and it's time to build a house. Wait, my wheat farm, why'd you break? Starting off on the house though, let's chop down all of the trees over here. We level this off. I think it'll be enough space. Just met up with sausage at spawn to get some sunflowers for some dye. And now I need a few more iron shovels as I want to use bricks and sandstone for the house. So I need a lot of clay and sand. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second here. Wait a second. Let's hippity hop back over to the base and get my floaty for swim speed. Oh, much better, much better. Okay, now we gather. Okay, I actually don't like this. It's very annoying. Oh, 
Last shovel just broke, and I've got a decent amount of clay and a good amount of sandstone. Since I'm over on this part of the island, I want to check up on what the windmill mining system has got. I sent it back up while I was mining, and we've got ourselves not that much yeah we'll use the deep slate though yeah we hit just like wide open spaces got it there might be some more we can get at the bottom though so i'm just gonna send it back down hopefully i can use these netherrack furnaces we got in the nether to smelt yes we can use smelt the sandstone and a bunch of clay down for bricks now while that stuff cooks down i do need some more andesite because not only do i use it for everything and create i also want to build the roof out of it and that's a very dead diamond pickaxe as the next step here i'm gonna need to break these furnaces oh i need to i need a new pickaxe we're going back to iron for now but i need to craft them into blast furnaces where then i can put the bricks back in with some coal and create worn bricks with these guys right here we can craft them down into a worn brick block which is just a touch darker than the regular brick and it's gonna be so cool i've got a bunch of things smelting down and i wanted to get some limestone so i need to see what i can pick out of the wall here and i'm a little worried this is not gonna be enough okay looks like there's actually a good amount here so there should be enough i've been grinding and gathering all the materials now and this is finally everything we're gonna be needing and between just these two double chests it's taking like two hours to get everything together early game is so slow i do need to take this guy out though as he's kind of in the way of the house but it has been working overtime. Look how many logs we have in here. I guess I can take this guy back too. Now for my favorite part, building up my starter house on a brand new series. Here I want to build a porch with the oak planks on the front and use those bone walls I found in the nether earlier, as well as a main door leading into the front entrance of the house out of our limestone. From the darker worn brick up into a yellowy brick and then some sandstone mixed in at the top, leaving space for all of the windows down below with a white pane and spruce trap door I thought looked nice. And I am loving all the modded blocks in here now around the back i want to add in a connected outside house that i can decorate for a detached kitchen space of sorts on top of the limestone house i think a simple spruce roof coming up to a single point will work great we've got an impromptu windmill up here and i think it's gonna look really cool i've just got to link everything in including the little button i really like this super glue stuff it is very easy to work with now if i do this Yes, all of it starts turning. Oh, I love that. Now, before I get into the main roof here, I do want to throw a chimney onto the back. That's going to be a big old fireplace right here. And we're going to take this all the way up into the roof. For the topper, I'm thinking we do a little deep slate pillar action. And then we have the deep slate brick chimneys that will do the smoke without the toe deaths. For a cool bluey tone, I'm using anisite on the roof as well to match the front door overhang with a spruce bit on top, which was going great until this happened. No! No, how did that happen? I just got my stuff back and I guess I'm a trickster now? So I can teleport. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I can shrink myself. Oh, this is so fun. Now can I safely get up here? Yes. <laughs> so I'm thinking to get some power in the house, we can have a shaft right there and then a big gear wheel here and just kind of stretch them up. Or something like this. And once we get into the basement, we can create a cool power system down there. And the windmill is probably going to power some things in the kitchen. <gasps> I can shrink down and just get into here. Oh, this is fantastic. Instead of the shaft there, I can just do a gearbox. For now, just so we can get everything moving, I wanted to build this guy into here as a water wheel and connect that all the way up but now this house is looking so much cooler oh i love that right i gotta clean all this up out in front too too many deaths later but the starter base is finished i relocated the cows and sheep a little farther up the hill over there the wheat farm is back up and running which is fantastic and what is even more fantastic i've decorated the entire house you've got a cuckoo clock right up here We've got the fireplace back there. I've got a beautiful painting from my hardcore world that I just threw up over here. We've got a, two little puppos, some sofas, and so much storage inside of these things with a small temporary storage room right over in here. So we've got like our stones, we've got minerals, we've got wood and these. This is kind of the random ones. We've got dirts and things up there and all of our create goodies. This is currently power leading up into the second floor, which isn't the most decorated, but I do have the enchanting set up in here with another photo that I absolutely love. This is just here if we want to use it, bringing it all the way up to the top. I've got a little place for a bed right back in here. And then in the final layer for the attic, I want to reserve this for some create things later on if we need it. So I've left that blank for now, but we've got this hallway in here coming into that back kitchen I was talking about that is fully decorated 
it out we've got a few nether plants growing over there we've got some mushrooms and just general leafy things as well as a whole cooking setup here where we've got a cooking pot that I don't know how to use yet and I've got my skillet in here if we want to start you know frying some things but uh I got nothing to fry quite yet underneath this slowly turning into a mess with more create things moving around but that's totally fine before I get into too much trouble that's gonna do it for today my friends please leave a like if you're excited for new life subscribe if you're brand new so you don't miss out ring the bell so you also don't miss out on any further uploads and things like that but anyways I'll catch y'all on the flip side